All right. I just gave it to you, Pilar. Hey. Hey. <laughs> so, uh, in one sentence or less, how would you describe yourself? Okay, I describe myself as determined, passionate. I feel like I'm a very competitive person in everything. Um, so, not just volleyball, so everything. And yeah, I feel like I'm just a happy person. <laughs> I love your one sentences. <laughs> <laughs> You're talking. It's all good. All good. Um, all right. Who are you? What position do you play? How old are you? And where are you from? So my name is Pilar Victoria. I'm from Caguas, Puerto Rico. I play outside hitter slash I can play opposite. And I'm 24 years old. <laughs> okay. Um, where have you played college? And college and then list your pro teams with countries and levels and then add if they were Euro Cup. So I started um, college in the University of Texas then I transferred to the University of Arkansas in when in where I got my degree um, then I started pro life in Italy uh, in a A2 league with Givova Baronisi then I went to France, Bessier's friends, uh, with the Bessier Angels, in where we played uh, Champions League. And now I'm currently in Nireshasaf, Hungary, with Fatum, the team. And now we're playing uh, CV Cup That's in nice. a A1 league. <laughs> Thank you. Good job. Good job. That's, it's, I go through all of that. I get it. I get it. Um, what's uh, Elite Volley Fam to you? For me, it's, it's more than an agency. I feel like um, it's like a family, like not even just the managers, but as well the girls. Like I feel like we have each other's back. Um, even if we need any tips or just in life, not just um, volleyball related. So, um, yeah, I feel like it's really a family in where – I didn't expect it to be, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I that first little period where we're like, Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, so why did you choose us? Well, first, um, obviously, it's hard to uh, trust somebody um, that you don't know. But I feel like you, especially Ryan, gave me that trust and talked to me very straight from the beginning. So for me, that was very important. And... Yeah, I think that's why I choose you guys because, like, I felt the the honesty from the beginning. Awesome. Where are you now, and why did you choose it? Right now, I'm hungry. Um, I chose it because, well, in my case, because of my um, other two teams, I feel like I needed to grow a little bit more. Um, I needed to experience other things, uh, especially in, on the court. Um, so yes, I think I chose Hungary because of that and because I've heard that Budapest is, even though I'm not here in Budapest, but it, I heard it was pretty, it was very pretty. So also like that gave you a plus. <laughs> right. How is it? It's good. I mean, right now it's so cold. <laughs> Buda, how is it? Oh, Budapest is beautiful. It's beautiful. And I bet if it's here, it's cold. In Budapest, it's, it must be even colder. But <laughs> uh, What's your two-season, including this one, goal in general, specifically pro national team? Okay, so um, like my two-season pro, like where I want to be? Yeah, yeah. What's that plan, right? The plan we make? Okay, so... Right now, obviously, in this season, I want to finish strong um, in a way like if we can conquer the championship, obviously, that's the main goal. Um, still? Huh? Are you defeated still or yet? Yes, we're still defeated. You're still like undefeated, undefeated. Okay, okay. Sorry, I made that confusing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you confused me. So, yeah, but we're still undefeated. Um, 
So our main goal, obviously, is to uh, win the cup and win the championship. Um, so for me, this season is that stay consistent um, with my team and get that championship done. And afterwards, I would like to obviously grow and learn new things. Uh, my main goal is to finish in Italy, um, A1. So, yeah, I feel like it's a process. So I think um, I'm step by step to get there. Love it. All right. So then explain the difference, in your opinion, of playing Euro Cup and league matches. Hmm. In, in my opinion, league matches are still difficult. It's still like, um, it's still a challenge. Uh, I feel like, but I feel like Euro Cup matches are bigger in a way like you expose yourself in different levels of just not in the same country, but in other nationally or internationally, let's say, um, just with your club. So I feel like Euro Cups are very important in that way because like you expose yourself um, just not just doing with your team, but in another country as well. So I feel like that's a big difference. Nice. And how would you compare all of that to a national team? Yeah, with national team, it's kind of different too because like um, Euro Cup, even though you, yeah, you expose yourself in another country, national team wise, you do the same. It's just like with the national team, it's a different feeling, obviously, because you're doing it for your country. Um, and then with the Euro Cup, you're doing it for your job at the same time. Um, so I think that's a difference too. But even though, like, in my case, my personal opinion, I, I care for both, for me, like, at the same, almost the same level, because it's for my, it's my performance, you know, it's my job. So I feel like it's kind of the same, but different. <laughs> All right. Uh, how is pro different than college? And why was your agent important to transition? Oh my gosh, very different. Um, college, obviously, you feel like you're with the same girls for four years or maybe less comparing with freshmen and all that. Um, but you stay with your team for for the longest. And I feel like for me, it was a different. It's, it was hard because every year is different in pro life. Every year you have a different coach, um, different team. Or, or if you stay in the same team, it's different girls. Yeah. So it's a different dynamic. Um, so for me, that first season was a little hard because I didn't expect it to be as, like, as yeah that hard in a way like different mindset it was different mindset it was just a different mindset so um what was the other part of the question <laughs> uh and why is your agent important in that transition from college to pro yeah my agent well ryan <laughs> helped, me, <laughs> helped me a lot um especially like with just obviously that transition in a way like I was talking with you almost all the time um, about, and you were talking to me basically almost all the time, um, just giving me the tips of what I needed to do and what I needed to take care of, um, especially with every detail that I needed to obviously express myself to you and just tell you for you to help me. Yeah. I, I, I didn't need it to do everything by myself. And that was for me, that was very at first, it was hard to lay, like lean on somebody else, but then I understood that it's needed, like yeah. much needed. Why is it needed? Because you cannot do it for yourself because you don't know everything. And for me, um, I really need, even though it was hard for me to lean on you, I needed that information, that tips for me to keep going or for me to grow or for me to be in the next level. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, it's, it's very needed. Yeah. And it's interesting, I mean, because you and many other people have, you know, that first season can be a struggle, man. It can really be hard, and it, it can almost last into the next season and the next season, but it's yes. so 
And that's what you're seeking right now by being in Hungary, right? You're trying to find a level, yeah. really stand out. Then you can move back to Italy and things like that when you are ready. And that's all of these experiences compound for that. So it's really exactly. Um, what's expected from you as a pro by your team, and then by us as your agents? How do we expect you to work, uh, work with teams, work as a player? Well, as I mentioned before, like obviously. Um you as a pro you gotta lean on your agent so i feel like as for me as expected from my agency is for me to lean on them um if i have any problems to talk to them every detail so they can take care of it and not just me and at the same time you don't get yourself basically in trouble not trouble but yeah. just like in just in a different view from the team. Exactly. You, know? you don't want the perspective of the team to look at you differently. Outside yeah. of the Maybe if you're playing poorly, all right, then it's like, okay, get, get your playing better. But you don't want to be asking for this or asking for that and trying to handle all the admin because now they're looking at you like, who are you? Why exactly. Are you and that's why you have an agent. Yeah. <laughs> So basically for my agency, I feel like that that's what is expected from me. And then from my team, um, basically the same. Obviously, they expect for me to bring my um, my best every day in, in practice or in games. Um, obviously, to stay healthy and, yeah, just be myself at the same time. Yeah. Oh, nice. Uh, how is it to work with me as a player? Be honest. Include that first transitional phase. <laughs> use me as a resource. If you do use me as a resource, how do you use me as a resource? So yeah, that first, that first year for me, it was very hard, especially with you. Because first, yeah, we didn't know each other. And then I didn't know how to lean on you as as I mentioned before. So I didn't know how to lean on you. Um, so that transition was hard for me because I didn't know at the same time what was expected from me. Um, or maybe I couldn't understand it very clear. Um, so that first season for me, it was hard working with Ryan um, because yeah, I didn't know how to how to express myself or how to, how to make it better. And playing right and trying to do well and it wasn't going great but exactly it, it was a lot of things but now i feel like i use ryan a lot as a resource in a way um that yeah he helps me a lot gives me tip and how to stay healthy how to stay with re my recovery um eating healthy um literally not just volleyball wise because a lot like also, you give me feedback, feedbacks on um, my playing, but also in just life, in a way, like, how can I be better and how my body can feel better? Um, so, yeah, I think that's pretty much I answered the question, I think. Yeah. <laughs> so, going with that same theme, how would you describe our goal as an agency for our players? And how do we best work together now that you found would be that dynamic so yeah um elite volley for us an agency um the main goal for with their players i feel like is to get them in where they can grow um personally mentally um and as a player um and what else i think like what was the other part of the question sorry <laughs> Uh, it's uh, how do we like to work together? So how is the dynamic? Uh, how does it work now, well that I'm your agent and you're the player? How do we balance that? Yeah, we, I mean, we do, I think we do a great job doing that. Because, <laughs> yeah. like, um, yeah, obviously at the same time, I'm doing my job in a way here. Uh, I have my life and I do my job, even though sometimes I will need you. Um, that's when it, we get in contact. Um, or if you need something from me, that's when we get in contact. Um, and sometimes checkups as well. Um, but the the good thing is like you, like we are, 
we balance each other in a way like you have your job, I do my job, and then we come together, give updates, keep going. Exactly. That's what, that's what we're looking for. That's, this is the way, because then that way you're being a player, I'm being the agent helping you do and use everything that you're giving on that court to get to those goals, right? All right, so um, last couple questions. What do you like or respect about our agency compared to what you know about other agencies? And we're not looking to crash anybody. We just want to know the differences. And Yeah, I like the, like, um, how loyal it is and how, like, I don't know the word in English, or I know it, but I don't know how to pronounce it. So just, like, being, um, keep, like, everything. Say it in Spanish and somebody can translate it in the <laughs> Hey. No, but just like keep everything in se not secret, but like between you and me, you know, like confidential. Yeah, exactly. That yeah. confidential. Um, so I feel like that's what I like the most. Um, so yeah. Yeah. What else? Right. Yeah, I think that. What are common mistakes you hear that rookies make when they're choosing jobs and when they're choosing agents? Okay, rookie mistakes. I I think I make a lot of rookie mistakes just being my process. <laughs> but like maybe like um with choosing agents, I feel like just as an advice, uh when you're choosing an agent, just make sure that that person gives you he's you're not going to feel complete the trust because you don't know the person, but look for somebody that you feel like he wants the best for you, obviously, and talks to you, to you right away, like, honestly, from the beginning. Um, that's what I did with you, and that's how you did with me. Um, that's why I chose you guys. Um, so, yeah, what else? What was it? <laughs> yeah, no, no, what's the, what's the mistakes they make in choosing the agents? Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, like, so... What's the mistakes that you've heard players make? Oh, and then with teams, yeah, just um, not maybe not knowing much about the team or players that have played there, stuff like that. Um, and I feel like Elite Volley does a good job by connecting people that have played there or coaches or the research. stuff that – yeah, stuff like that. Like, I feel like Ellie Bolly does a great job doing that. And I feel like I I don't think any other agency does that. I, I, I haven't heard of it before. Awesome. Um, yeah, by the way, interviews with, with – yeah, I know you wanted to say hi to her. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> does that help you when you have the interviews with coaches? Because we like to do that. Yes, 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 a lot. Like – um, with my first two seasons in Italy or France, I didn't have that opportunity. But here in Hungary, I had the opportunity to talk with my coach before even coming here. And I that helped a lot because for me, it helped that he knew. Um, I, I couldn't tell, like, how he was and his philosophy at the same time. Yeah. And that helps a lot. Last question. Ready? <laughs> what advice do you have for athletes graduating now in the middle of season, just like you did? Yeah. Those that will graduate in May or June about this process, how can they make smarter, better decisions on how to start their careers? Okay, so for those of you that are graduating now in December, um, to make the process a little easier, yeah, it's, it's a little hard because everything is in a short time. So just try to make, obviously, the smart decision on get go to a place in where you can feel that you will have the chance to grow and play and have that experience as a pro. Um, so don't worry so much. I mean, it depends on what you're looking for, but in my case, it was like, I was looking more for the growth, so I didn't pay attention too much on the money or all that because I wanted to grow as a player and I wanted to experience something else. So for me, um, I focused on going to a team in where I can play, in where I could uh, 
yeah, learn from that team and learn or, and see at what level I was to yeah. then go, go in. And for those of you that are graduating in May, do the same. It's basically the same thing. You will have a little bit of more time than those of graduating now. But, um, yeah, look for the teams in where you can play and in where you can feel like you can grow as a player and personally. So, yeah, and then lean on your agent for sure <laughs> yeah. and trust them. Fantastic. And if you have any questions, just ask. I like it. You know I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody watching this, you can reach out to me for questions. You can reach out to our players, ex-players, whatever. For for us, that's a part of the philosophy, right? We've got to be, course. we've got to support each other. I mean, I'm an agent, but I still think like a player, you know, because until two years ago in Verona, I've, I've been playing and I can't. That's the other thing I like a lot. Because you, you were a player and then you know about the business, you know about everything. So I feel like that helps a lot every girl that are looking for an agent. I feel like you should look for something like that too. <laughs> All right, so thank you so much. Take care of those knees. Of Keep playing well. Congrats on oh, that well. EV Cup win, right? Yes, yes. Yeah? It was a great match, yeah. Great job. We'll talk soon. Thank you. Okay, perfect. Thank you.